Welcome back, Quill Pack, to another Click Team Firefly tutorial. Um, today I will be going over how to make a day, so to speak. Um, it will be real time based, or uh, real time based, yeah. So, for example, if you have the game set up at three o'clock to show the sun, it will show the sun, or at seven p.m. to show nighttime, it will be nighttime. I'm only gonna do day and night, but in my game, him, I have day, sun set, sunrise, and night. But if you understand how to do this, then you should be able to figure it out. So we're going to add two skyboxes. And I'm just going to rename them day and night. And I have a skybox for both. So I'm just going to go ahead and load that in. Okay, I got the skybox loaded. Finally. Um, now... In addition to the normal, I, I also have first person movement set up, um, in case you're wondering, I did not show that because I already have a video about that, and or it's already on the academy depending on when you watch this. Um, now what we're going to add is the date and time object, just right here. And we're going to create a clock object. And let's see if I can move that over. There we go. And I want it to be digital, just so I can read it easier. And we're going to put in a military time for the counters. Now. Um, let me just check something real quick. So, 100, so stopwatch. Okay. And now we're going to add a single counter. And this will read the hours for us. And we're going to set the min value to 0 and the max value to 23 since it is in military time. And let's see, we want to at the start of frame. This is actually going to be in loading in like your loading section rather than um like at the starter frame or whatever but I'm not gonna create loading right now um, at the starter frame we're gonna set the counter to retrieve hour and they'll get the hour which I will show you here in a second it'll get the current hour of the day mmm Firefly 2D Firefly text. We'll just put that over there. And I'm going to actually make that bigger so it's visible. And we're going to make it 20. Move it over some. And we are going to set the text to string current value now if I was to run this takes a while to load for some reason Well, whenever I load this, um, the Firefly text should say 11, since it is currently 11.51 for me. Yeah, why does it take so long to load? There we go. Just close that out.
and you can't see it great I forgot I had the night box oh well. anyway change that to white anyway now we're gonna set up the skybox and we want to check so I'm just gonna make this visible as well so we're gonna auto or t check off auto add for now um, and we want to check to see if the counter compares to the value if the counter is greater than let's say 6 a.m. and less than oops and the counter is less than uh, let's say 6 p.m. and since that's in military time it will be 8 we will auto add or we will add the day skybox to Firefly and since it is currently about noon for me it should add the tropical sunny skybox that I have loaded and there we go now I am going to change I'm gonna scoot this over just to show you because I'm not gonna change my date on the computer I can't make time fast forward I could but I'm not going to go to that extent if we move it over to the night sky box it'll auto add the nighttime sky box and you see my plane is still um, dark no matter what skybox is loaded skybox doesn't affect the lighting but in the same line as your skybox you could add some lighting code for example um, I currently have it set up today I'm gonna leave the time the same I'm not gonna mess with the time you can determine what time you want things to change but since we load this um, day skybox let's set up the ambient light color to like an off yellow. Just make sure I'm doing this right. Yeah. Now, if we were to run this, it should simulate daylight. There we go. Which is awfully bright, but that's one way you can simulate daylight and then there's our 11 since it's 11.55 for me um, if we move this over to night whoops we can edit this and make a darker color like let's say this and it's probably too light Okay. And now when it loads, it'll load like a moonlight. And I can simulate the difference real quick. Insert. No, I want to replace that. Replace. If let's do the engine, if the flag is off, flag zero is off. Or we want to load night, and if it's on, we want to load day. And with the spacebar, we'll toggle that.
Okay, so the curtain votes tonight. I don't think an application like that very much. There we go. Now it's day. And for some reason, um, what? Okay, that was weird. Night, day. But that is however long this video is going to be. I don't know. I'm currently at 22 minutes for recording because I had to deal with the skybox. But just a quick way to alternate between day and night. Um, you could go it more into depth and like calculate the actual times or try to figure that out. But for me, I'm just using the general um, set of hours for my time. For him, um, sunset is... 5 to 6, I believe, or sunrise is 5 to 6 a.m., sunset is 6 to 7 p.m., um, any being, anything between 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. is day, and then everything else is night. So just a real general broad time spectrum, but that's how I get the different, um, different scenarios or worlds into my game. I got the idea from old from Pokemon, strangely. When you play Pokemon when it's nighttime, the game turns night when it's daytime, it's light. But that's it for this video. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.